the perfect bite of red velvet cake should have a moist, earthy, tangy flavor. The sweetness of the buttercream, the cream cheese, and then all of those are gonna marry and just be a, a wonderful dance in your mouth. It is one of those dishes that you have to get it exact. Something that I strive for is doing it perfect every time. The red velvet cake got its fame from the Waldorf Astoria. I think it's so iconic, it's so great. It's amazing to be a part of that food history. Hi, I'm Amanda Owen, and I'm the executive pastry chef at the Roosevelt New Orleans, a Waldorf Astoria hotel. And this is Off the Menu with Hilton. To make the Waldorf Astoria red velvet cake, the first thing you're gonna do is add the eggs to your bowl. Then add your canola oil, and you're gonna whisk these together. Now slowly add in your sugar. And now that you have emulsified your sugar, eggs, and oil together, you're gonna add your melted chocolate. The chocolate that I like to use is Valrona chocolate, 64%. So now that we've incorporated the chocolate, Add all-purpose flour that has been sifted. Next, you'll add the salt, the baking powder, and now I'm gonna add my vanilla. Now lastly, our fresh beets. You can use canned beets if you'd like. It's gonna give it that nice, earthy flavor, some extra sweetness, and some added beautiful red color. And it's okay if you have a few lumps, you don't wanna overmix your batter. You're gonna to wanna to clear your space for your cake pan and add enough batter to go one third of the cake pan. And you're gonna to wanna to do this three times to have three even layers for your cake. And now we're gonna put these in the oven at 325 for 20 to 25 minutes. I really fell in love with being a pastry chef and never looked back. I really feel like it's the art behind it and it's very organized and very precise, which those are things that I love. So the next thing we're gonna do is make a simple cream cheese buttercream. First, you add your cream cheese, and the next, you're gonna add the butter, and last, the sugar. You're gonna wanna start this on one, just to blend the sugar and then you're gonna leave it on two for five to six minutes until it's nice, light, and fluffy. Perfect for the red velvet cake. Once you take them out of the oven, your cake should look something like this. Those beets added a lot of moisture. I like to take simple syrup and brush a little bit on each layer. The cream cheese icing, I like to fill a piping bag to give a good, even layer. And we're gonna repeat this on each. Finally, your top. You just wanna squeeze it down. I like to add a little extra on the side. Smooth these edges out. And it doesn't matter if you get this perfectly straight because you're gonna crumb coat the sides with your extra cake crumbs. This part's gonna get a little messy, but that's okay. Now, I'm gonna do a simple decoration for the top. You're gonna take a large star tip and just fill the top with rosettes. And you're gonna to wanna to smooth center. And you can add a little crumble. So now we have some cute decoration to place around. You can decorate your cake any way that you like and just add some fresh berries for a pop of color. And voila, beautiful red velvet cake. Here in New Orleans, I absolutely belong in the kitchen. There's no other place I'd rather be. I'm very passionate, and I really feel like you have to have that to be a great chef. And here I am, 25 years later, still in pastry and still loving it.